Hey guys, how's it going? In this video we're going to look at the uncertainty principle, so let's get started. It starts here by saying that in Newtonian mechanics, i.e. classical physics, the position and momentum of any particle can be found if the starting details are known. Quantum mechanics, i.e. quantum physics, however, says that it is only possible to calculate probabilities. And we need to be aware that the very action of observing a quantum particle will have an effect on the particle itself. For example, if photons of light are used to examine an object under a microscope, then the photons will not affect the object. If a photon bounces off an electron, then momentum will be imparted to the electron and its path and momentum will likely be altered. The act of observation affects the particle being observed. And a famous thought experiment related to this is Schrodinger's cat, where Schrodinger came up with the idea of putting a cat in a box with some kind of lethal radioactive source as well as some poison, and he closed the lid of the box and he said that until we make a measurement like opening the box, then the cat itself can remain in both a dead and an alive state. And he said that when the lid is on the box and we can't see into the box, then for a while, until we open the box, we won't know whether the cat is dead or alive. And this brings in the idea of quantum states where things can be in two states at once, like the cat being both dead and alive. Now it's when we make a measurement like opening the lid of the box that determines what state the cat is actually in, i.e. whether it's dead or whether it's alive. But just like we were discussing here, when you make a measurement to observe the cat, you're actually affecting the outcome of the result. So it's almost like saying by making the decision to open the lid of the box, you're either killing the cat or keeping it alive. But it's important to remember that this was a thought experiment, so it's hypothetical, so no cats were harmed in the making of this experiment. But hopefully you get the idea that making a measurement or an observation on a quantum particle is going to affect the particle in some way. It then goes on to say that Werner Heisenberg, a German physicist, produced his uncertainty principle when 23 years old in 1927. The uncertainty principle says that it is not possible to measure the position and the momentum of a particle with absolute certainty. The more accurately one of these is known, the less accurately the other is known. Another way of saying this is that it is not possible to know the position and the momentum of a quantum particle simultaneously, i.e. at the same point in time. Now this is the uncertainty principle in terms of position and momentum, but we will soon see another definition of the uncertainty principle in terms of the energy and lifetime of a quantum particle. So the relationship between momentum and position is given by this thing here. So it's delta x delta px is greater than or equal to h over 4 pi where delta x is the uncertainty in the quantum particle's position measured in meters, delta px is the uncertainty in the quantum particle's momentum in the x direction measured in kilogram meters per second, and lastly h is Planck's constant. But this means that if you're asked to calculate the minimum uncertainty in position, or the minimum uncertainty in the particle's momentum in the x direction, then you would take this to be equal to h over 4 pi. And that's commonly what you're asked to do in questions. You're asked to find the minimum uncertainty. So it means taking equals because that is the lower limit of this inequality. And similarly, we have an uncertainty principle in terms of energy and time. So it says the uncertainty principle also states that it is not possible to know the lifetime of a quantum particle and the associated energy change simultaneously. Note, the lifetime of a quantum particle can be taken as the uncertainty in time. So we can call the lifetime delta t. So we have delta E times delta T is greater than or equal to H over 4 pi. So the same right hand side that we had before. And delta E is the uncertainty in the quantum particle's energy measured in joules. Delta T is the uncertainty in the quantum particle's lifetime measured in seconds. And H is Planck's constant as before. And again, you could be asked to calculate the minimum uncertainty in the energy or the minimum uncertainty in the time. And just as before, if that was the case, you would take this to be equals h over 4 pi if you were looking for a minimum value. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.